Hi, my name is Lexi Lang, and I'm a facial plastic surgeon at West End Plastic Surgery in Washington, DC. Today, we're gonna to be talking about otoplasty, also known as ear pinning surgery. I bet most of you didn't even know that this was something available to you, but it is a pretty common surgery. It is most commonly done in children because that's when it's most obvious, but many adult patients have even come to me and said, oh, I didn't even know that something existed until very recently. It's an outpatient surgery, so it can be done easily even while you are awake, if you so desired. And the reason we do it is to address overly prominent ears from the head. I will begin by telling you that everyone has one ear that sticks out more than the other. This is a very common thing. And we'll talk about in a future video, facial asymmetry. You can see for me that if I'm looking at you straight on that this ear sticks out of my head a little bit more than this one does. And so it is normal for you to have one ear that sticks out more. However, you might feel that your ears collectively just stick out more than you would prefer. So to treat that, we do something called otoplasty. When you come in for your evaluation with the surgeon, we usually assess why you have prominent ears. And it can be either due to, I'm gonna show you real quick. You can either have a less defined crease right here, in which case your ear kind of folds over and forward like a cup ear like this. Or sometimes you just have this, this part, which is called your concha, is too prominent sticking out and it needs to be folded back. So there are two types of techniques in terms of addressing the overly prominent ear and sometimes you need to have both of them done. It can all be done at the same time. Sometimes in otoplasty, you actually have too much cartilage to begin with. And so you will hear that some surgeons do a cartilage resecting or cartilage removal otoplasty and some people will get a cartilage sparing or a surgery where they keep the cartilage in place. And again, this is variable by which surgeon you go to and how bad your ears are pushed forward, but that is something you should ask your surgeon is whether they are going to try to keep the cartilage or they're gonna cut a little sliver of it. So for your actual procedure, you will have an incision that goes behind the ear, so it's never seen. And depending on what reason is causing your prominent ears, we will do permanent stitches to pin the ear back. We do use permanent stitches because this helps ensure that the ear stays nice and folded the way we want it to. And then after the surgery, you usually do wear a type of headband or compression dressing for a while, varies by different surgeon, to help ensure that your ears stay pinned back. One question that we have gotten is, what happens if the stitches pop? Will the ears revert back to their old position? And the main thing to know about this is that cartilage all throughout your body does have memory. So if you let cartilage run wild, yes, it could theoretically revert back to its old position. However, the reason we do the permanent stitches and we do the headband is we want your ear and your cartilage to scar down in its new healed position. So technically, if the suture is popped in years from the time of the initial surgery, hopefully by then you formed enough scar tissue and your cartilage has learned to stay in that creased and folded position. However, if this happens very soon after surgery, we might be talking about doing a little revision just to get them back in place. The recovery is pretty minimal, like I said, other than just wearing the headband. And um, the other question a lot of patients will have is, you know, how bad is the asymmetry afterward? Again, we are aiming for improvement, not perfection. That's not possible. It doesn't exist in plastic surgery. So as my coordinator will always say, you want your ears to be like sisters, not twins. So there is likely always going to be one ear that sticks out a little bit more, but if you are okay with that, then this is definitely a surgery for you. And in conclusion, my name is Dr. Lexi Wang. I'm a facial plastic surgeon at West End Plastic Surgery in Washington, DC.